The 1,000-year-old Chinese love story, Madam Whitesnake, comes to Boston as a world premiere opera, plus dating advice from a man who calls himself the Asian Playboy. Join us today, Valentine's Day at noon. known as, now wait for it now, the Asian playboy. He says he is not so average looks combined with his above average drive and swagger has helped create a business empire he calls the ABCs of Attraction. Since its launch in 2005, ABCs of Attraction earned a reputation for being the number one dating program for Asian men and men of all ethnicities by teaching them how to step up their game. Asian Playboy's work has been featured on VH1's The Pickup Artist, and he's here today on City Line just in time for Valentine's Day. Welcome, JT Tran. Karen, thank you for having me. Now, first of all, I've got to ask the obvious question. How does one become the Asian Playboy? Well, the Asian Playboy is a, a concept that was created to kind of defeat and shatter the stereotype of the uh, asexual or nerdy Asian man. Mm -hmm. um, and so when it came about, uh, basically just trying to present a positive, more sexual, more masculine role model for other Asian men to follow. Mm -hmm. But uh, why did you decide to take this on as, as, a, as a cause uh, for well, you? Well, that's, that's an interesting um, story in the fact that I never intended to do this until one day a mother called me up. She's Chinese-Canadian. She called me up and asked me to help socialize her son who in high school, throughout high school, had been like harassed by neo-Nazis. So she said mm -hmm. she'd fly me up to Toronto and pay me. And so, you know, I told her for three days and three nights, I would be the big brother he never had. So what kinds of socialization did you teach this young man that turned into the ABCs of Attraction? Well, we taught him like how to combine like your, your ability to speak to a woman, to speak to anyone, as well as your, like your outer confidence, the way like your body language can exude confidence to a woman. Mm -hmm. And so combining that and then having practice sessions, like a dry run session during the day, and then actually going out into what we call the field, mm -hmm. to bars and clubs. and basically a trial by fire, actually talking to, you know, beautiful strangers. Now, if you met me in a club, tell me what you would say. I would go, like, hello, my name is JT, and I had to come over and tell you that you are absolutely adorable. Oh, charming. Thank and you. what kinds of results do you get from the women when you uh, practice these ABCs of attraction? You know, for the most part, there is definitely a lot of positive reaction because every woman wants to be approached by someone that's confident and has a smile and makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. And so when that is achieved by whether it's me or my students, usually we end the night with these women just having experienced a really pleasant night with us. Now, I... Do all the women react positively? Have be, there been some embarrassing moments? Or? Um, yes, <laughs> of course there have been. Uh -huh. uh, there is no such thing as a totally foolproof approach. Uh, and there have been women that have rejected me. There have been times where, like when I was learning before I ever started this business, where the rejection was so harsh, I went and I cried. Like it was this girl, and she was like totally racist to my face. Mm. She told me that mm. you know I don't talk to Asian guys. Go away. Mm. Like just flat-out prejudice and that was just you know that was incredibly hurtful because it was more than just being you know rejecting me as like this man it was like just because of my race now that's a very interesting point because you talk about ABC's of attraction for Asian men and other ethnicities is there a difference in the way that uh, men of different ethnic backgrounds need to socialize and meet women um, well, with Asians, it's different from like Caucasians, the fact that we have to basically learn the kind of social skills to integrate ourselves into like American society. And there are cultural differences already that uh, Asian men have that American women don't? Well, um, in, I guess in our culture, there are things like me making eye contact is considered like sometimes very rude or the, you know just you know touching or shaking hands things of that where you know in some Asian families that's taught that it's not mm -hmm. something you do but here in America if you don't make 
solid eye contact with someone, that's considered a side of like not being confident mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we have to teach that and we have to be like, it's okay to, to, you know, to smile, you know, to shake hands, to touch. Yeah, we have some uh, pictures, I think, of one of your classes uh, that we're going to show folks. Uh, very popular. Everybody signs up for these classes. Here's yes. the video we're looking at right now, and I see you up uh, on the podium. Uh, the classroom looks like it's full. Yes, yes. Um, we do generally sell out for many of our programs, and we teach teach around the world as well as you know many cities in the United States. What uh, What's one of your proudest accomplishments, if you will, uh, in terms of helping someone enter the dating world? Okay, um, one of my proudest. Uh, I have many proud moments, but one of my most proudest is. Um, won't say his name. Don't want to embarrass him. Him, but is a 22-year-old Asian immigrant, what we call Fob, fresh off the boat, mm -hmm. and he, he, absolute virgin. He was intelligent, he was successful, but like just a zero when it comes to dating. And after taking my program, he actually met a beautiful black woman. Hmm. They started to date. Um, they became engaged and they consummated their relationship. Wow, yeah. that's great. So I've had clients that have, have you know, gone, gone through to the to wedding. Um, so you have a pretty good percentage rate, not only yes. to for people to hook up, but for them to continue uh, in terms of their relationship. Yes, I mean every man comes into into the program with different goals, and they do change. You know, the younger ones they, they want to play the field, and that's that's fine. Others they want the girlfriend, they want option, they want choice. Mm -hmm. And so you know, this is just giving them the kind of training necessary to to be more successful. All right, let's hear. Uh, this is Valentine's Day now. Let's uh, get a couple of your top tips for Top ABCs tips. of attraction for people that are looking for love uh, this Valentine's Day. Okay, well the tips to my, my Asian brothers and everyone else is, you know, always make good solid eye contact, always smile, and just make the woman feel good. Like one of the challenges we have for Valentine's is, you know, get those little uh, kitty Valentine's cards, write your name, write your number, and go up to a woman when you're at the street or the grocery and just say, hey, you are so pretty, I had to give you this. Oh, and there's lovely. your number, and you, you do this once a day, you're going to get a date for Valentine's. It's called the Valentine's Day Challenge. I remember those little Valentine's Day cards. You used to pass them around in elementary school. Yeah. Everybody yeah. loved them. What, whatever, it's like, you know, from the book, The Game, whatever is funny when we were still seven is still fun today. That's very sweet. JT Tran, thank you very much for joining thank us you, today. The Asian Playboy. Check him out. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We're going to.